on uh, her own as well. It's coming out from these two, when you look at exactly what they've been playing over the last couple of weeks, a couple of different champions here and there because bans not being let through, but it is what we'd expect from these two teams. It is what we would expect, but let us know what you think and who you think will storm onto the pro scene today. So far, and it looks like he wants to come top again. As long as Wonderware doesn't push out, he should be okay here. Dan hasn't come into the lane yet. A lot of heavy trading onto Wonderware. Yeah, now he comes in. He's got the flash as well. That's going to be first blood over to Dan very easily, but the Chum the Waters landed. So did the Ignite. He's ticking down, but he's good to go. Mid lane, Sayo, maybe less good to go. He flashed over the wall, so the barrel will knock him to safety, but Senkux has the follow up. Gets him with the Orb of Deception and the Fox fires. Senkux reclaims that kill. This is the first dragon. See if they can get it this time, but Team Dignitas are already there. Would have taken a steal. Absolutely no chance. They broke that percentage. That has definitely gone down they now. They want to go bot lane. And on the hunt ultimate, you, Sedrin, will be preemptively flashing. There's the flash into the tippers as well. Sedrin is locked down. And the on the waters comes across. There is no way you're getting out of that. But the kill actually goes over to Nisben. I think the tippers and the aura pick that one up. It hasn't happened yet, really, Beansu. Oh, oh he's going to check straight into Cobby and Obvious. He'll flash away instantly, try and get the vision. But that's instantly blue trinketed away. And now it's just a fish in a barrel. And Cobby will be the one to pick him up. Obvious just coming in with the assist there as well. So Team Dignitas now looking for their second dragon of the game. This is a big, big departure from what we used to from Mouse. They try for the Prey Seeker for a steal, but it's a shot in the dark, really. Senkuk's looking for the kill onto Mountain. Great Monsoon knocks him over the wall. I don't think he's got any more Spirit Rush charges. However, Beansu's going back into Dig. And he's actually going on to Cobby. Please wow. don't push the Aurelia oh, into me. Beansu trying to get away now and might just turn around. And I think he can probably still win that one-on-one -on -one against <laughs> Obvious if he turns around. Okay, maybe not. Drunken Rage comes <laughs> down. Q comes chance. out. He flashes over the wall. Gets an Equilibrium Strike. He might be able to get away, but Nisbet is coming in from the bottom side. Jukes him with the Blade Surge. Oh, gets him with the Body Slam. He's going to go down eventually. Bot lane, jungle versus top lane once again. Wonderware against Dan this time around. Gets him with the ultimate, but doesn't get him with much else. Been two is a split pressure. They'll be obviously going for a 1 3 1. I'm gonna shut up about that. Sedrin has been caught out by Senkux in the middle lane. He's taken down from the Ignite. He will heal up just at the very end of that. Sayo maybe also caught out as well. The ultimate whiffs from Obvious, as he did see uh, some flashes out from Maus at the end of that engagement. Is playing Blocker right now. So this should be Dragon 3. And it is Dragon 3 going over to Team Dignitas. Just go, okay, we're doing better. And then somehow it's worked out for them because of kind of picks like this. Welcome to Black Cleaver, yep. Sir Cooks. That is no ordinary Rek'Sai. Vision and map control away from Team Dignitas. But again, we're always going to see Team Dignitas look for this kind of play. Oh, double Tibbers. Tibbers onto two, but he gets eviscerated and then blown up. Kobe, meanwhile, trying to put the damage onto Sayo, but he'll actually just turn around and run. The Chaos Storm comes down, and Sedrian's closing in from the top side. Gets that pincer movement down, meaning Kobe will have to flash away. Wonder where thou might be caught, or maybe he's just caught Beansu. Actually, you're not the one I want. I'm going to run away from this, but... He'll disengage to get an Irelia off the back line. It's all about engage, and if they can get Irelia first... Uh, another whiffed ultimate in from Obvious, but they have caught him. This is a lot of resources used on Beansu, they need to get this kill to get him down. Dan will have to flash away. Cool. Uh, that's not cool to me. That's an ultimate in from Wonderware. Dan looking for the re-engage. This is four versus five, but there's a lot of members stacked up. Sayo maybe looking for a good engage here with his ultimate. He will be cleansing out of the CC in from Senkux. Diggy, you now have to disengage. There is no Gragas barrel to do so. Everyone's trying to get out on their own right. But Sayo still had his ultimate, and he blows up Senkux on the way out. Kobe has been exhausted. Spell shields the knock-up, but he doesn't have a spell shield for the damage. And that is a three for one over to Maus. And Maus were just so much stronger at that point. Maus have been ahead for the last few minutes. And Almost 300 CS under his belt. This is a very strong team from Maus, but if, again, they can get another pick in the bottom lane, whether they can do that, I'm not so sure. Beansu is being kited around and back up the round, Robin, into playoffs. Yeah, and, you know, part of it, I feel, is uh, Dan is looking to get in behind Wonderware in this bottom lane. Beansu took almost no damage from this trade. Yeah, Wonderware doesn't want to be here anymore, but Dan is going to make sure he stays, and he just has to try and trade as Beansu eats him alive. And Dragon has spawned. Maus, they're getting chased down by Team Dignitas. 
That tip is whipped. For a pick. It didn't land and it gets dragged into the gravity field. Beansu on the front line did get tagged by the Fizzles. Mikami gets blown up, but he's not down just yet. Wonderware has been sighted for that Chaos Storm. Dan also drops very low. We'll be healing out from that Monsoon and his passive. No one actually dies in that engagement, but Dragon will go over to Mouse and they are maintaining this big momentum swing in this game. Dig are actually trying to react in the middle lane by taking this turret, but they may have just put themselves in enemy territory. They know it's low and Senkax has everything up. And he will jump onto Mountain, but jump immediately out as the Grouty Field comes down from Sayu. Right now, a, almost a perfect uh, just curve or arc. No real single target. Binsu gets ulted. Well, he gets called out, but they don't have enough damage just yet. The Monsoon is used for soft disengage midway through this fight, and they have disengaged. The Dragon is now being focused out. It will go over to Obvious. That's the fourth Dragon of the game. Now they have something to play around. Beansu. That was teleport used. Yeah, he's looking for the flank coming in. This bet will get the stun down, and Beansu just shrugged it off with the Ionian further. Now the teleport coming in, and cancelled from Wonderware. Oh man, the it realization. Obvious is going to have to go for a steal here. There's 4,000 health left. Obvious goes in very early on here. Yeah, maybe a little too early. And the Baron will go over to Dan. That was essentially just coming down to who, who could smite better or who was looking for the burst at the right time. For the flank. Can he get into the back lane? If he gets Victor, that's a good ultimate. Beansu wants to get into his team, but this time they have the lockdown. They immediately destroy Sayo, and now Dignitas are on the chase. They have all of this engaged to use, and they take out Beansu as well. The two big carries from Mouse are down. The Dragon is spawning in one, and Dignitas should be able to secure Aspect. Very well worked engage onto the Victor with no cleanse. Died before he could get his flash off, and as you said, the fifth Dragon is up for Team Dignitas. Dan would have to have a Hail Mary, but he's not in position in time. Teleport is coming through onto the Inhibitor turret. This is going to die very quickly. The tower dies. The Inhib will be going down as well. Dignitas will be pulling away from this. Uh, yeah, that is a large stack in front of them, though. There goes the engage. Obvious goes for the engage and takes out Sayo. That is so incredibly big for Dignitas EU here. And the Righteous Glory will pop at the very end. That is all of their wave clear gone, essentially. And that's the problem with their Victor as they continue to engage. Victor had to step forward to try and clear the wave out. And it was an easy pickoff for Obvious with a flash into the ultimate. Mouse are just in tatters. Dignitas still have Aspect and they are pushing down the front door. They may even go for the win here. Nisbet flashes forwards, looks for the flash done, doesn't quite get it. Beansu's in the back lines trying to take down Sankux. He finds him and Sedjin is trying to duke away. He'll flash away from Wonderware. Beansu might fall. He'll be Valkyrieing back to his turret. But now Wonderware turns his attention back to this turret. The minions are closing in, but everyone is getting their health back from the fountain. Dan now coming in to try and save his Nexus, but it's not gonna happen. Dignitas finished out the first game in his best of five.